I'm sharing my screen. Uh, please confirm if it is visible. Yeah, brilliant. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so yes, hello yes, everyone. Yes, uh, so today we will going to discuss about uh, some security steps in fast API. So today we will cover uh, these topics, uh, authentication and authorization, and what is security in fast API, and how to implement that. So first one is authentication and authorization. So authentication means identify the source of request. So uh, while implementing uh, endpoints, so some endpoints are open. So so anyone can make a request to that endpoint and it can return the desired response. Uh, but that is the not case always. So for example, uh in order to access a resource from a backend service so backend service in some cases has to identify so what is the source that is requesting so if it is able to identify that uh, source then it can return the desired response so if it is not able to identify the response for example it is a if it the request is raised by any anonymous user, then backend service can terminate the request. So that we called authentication. So authentication can be done by like uh, identifying the resource using username or password or using any other parameters like uh, tokens. So in that way, we can authenticate a resource of a request. So authorization means uh, identifying if authenticated user has a right to access a resource or not. So for example, if uh, any request is raised by any authenticated user uh, and he is, ex he, is, he is trying to, he or she is trying to access a resource uh, which uh, he don't have access. So for example, uh, we, we have seen in some of these uh, web services though there are some uh, role based permissions for example uh, there might have different roles so according to roles uh, the user uh, will able to access a particular resource so for example in the case of admin so admin can access almost everything and if we have any other role so that uh, then that user is not able to access everything. So that is called authorization. So providing the access to a particular resource according to their right. Any question in authentication or authorization? No. Okay. So secure, what is security in the first API? So same identifying if incoming request is authenticated or not so if request is coming from any unauthorization or unauthenticated resource uh, we can take further steps so now we will talk about uh, how to implement security in fast api so as we know in fast api so we implement endpoints so if the endpoints uh, may be public or may be authenticated so authenticated means uh, in order to access that endpoint do the uh, the request raised by uh, any user has to send their uh, corresponding credentials like username or password or any other like token so backend service can authenticated user if it is related to that uh, backend service then it can return the desired response so we we have multiple uh, approaches to implement security for endpoints in fast api so one of them is oauth so basically it stands for open authorization so it has two versions 1.0 and 2.0 so the now latest version is 2.0 that is widely used so what it does so it allows a web app or application to access a resource from other service 
on behalf of a user so for example there are two services like mobile application and a backend application implemented in fast api so now mobile application uh, wants to access some resource from backend service but before access accessing those uh, resource so mobile application service has to tell about it so using like their username or password so backend service can relate it is uh, related to backend service and backend service can provide the desired access but if the mobile application sending a request to backend service will not have the corresponding credential so backend service will not able to detect like if it is the uh, authenticated or authorization user so that is the case so what is oauth2 so we will discuss about oauth2.0 so i have a fast api server set up uh, so it have two endpoints token and get user uh, we will discuss about it so before uh, implementing oauth2 so fast api uh, provide from the security uh, module two classes oauth2 password bearer so first we need to create instance from this class and this will take a instance variable token url so what is the meaning of that so when we implement uh, oauth2 so it it will take some parameters uh, like a username and password and uh, this will pass those parameters under this token url like uh, this endpoint so i have implemented that endpoint this one so this endpoint will take form data so form data from this uh, form class that i have created so basically fast api provide the inbuilt form that is oauth2 password request form so it provides some multiple fields like grant type username password scope client id and client secret uh, but i don't want to use these all other parameters like uh, grant type and client id and client secret scope so i for simplification i just want to only go with username and password so if any services want to access this uh, backend api resource so they have to send the username and password then backend service will check if that username and password is correct or not then it will it will proceed ahead so for the token url uh, the uh, form data will be passed so from that form data we will have a username and password so now next step is uh, we need to authenticate it whether that username or username or, or pa and password is correct or not so how we can check so i have implemented a function authenticated authenticated user so i will uh, we will pass username and password as a parameter so for the user storage so i used a simple dictionary so but uh, that is the not case in real life so we use database but in this example i'm i'm taking a dictionary so where key is username and there is a further dictionary which is holding password and id for that a particular user the password here is a hashed password it is a not a raw password so uh, for hashing a password i use uh, this library by by crypt like pass the library and from parsley by imported by crypt that is used to hash password so we can simply pass uh, pass a raw password so it will give us a, a corresponding hashed password so this is one user so we have a total three users in this dictionary so for authenticated user so for on that dictionary so first uh, i will pass username as a key okay so if 
if that user name is exist then it will also fetch its password hashed password okay second step is we will check if that user is existing not in that dictionary so if it does not exist we will return false so if second case for example that user is exist but the password is not correct but now uh, here user will pass a raw password but here we have a hashed password and how we will match those so in that case we can verify password using uh, vcrypt.verify so it takes two arguments first one is raw password and second is hashed password so according to its uh, applied algorithms so it will compare this both, both strings and will check according to algorithm if these two are uh, equal or not so basically it will try to compare those uh, strings so for example if it is uh, it, it will try to convert convert the hashed password into raw password according to its algorithm so if both will be equal then it will return true or it and it will return false if they are not equal so also if password is not equal then it will return false so if a uh, username is also correct and the password is also correct then it will return the user data if you guys have any question you can ask anytime next step is uh, on the line number 56 uh, we will have a user so if it can be false or uh, it can be a, use, a dictionary which is containing user information so if it is false then we can return like uh, credentials are invalid user does not exist with those credentials as uh, what we will do uh, if username and password is correct and exist in our database so we can generate a token using those credentials so here i uh, generated a jwt token using uh, pyj so i installed pyj jwt library so it takes two argument first one is token payload and the second one is jwt secret so jwt secret uh, could be any random string uh, but uh, we have to remember that so while decoding a token so we have to know about the secret key uh, that we used while encoding so if we encode the to uh, token using different secret key and we are decoding using different key so it will throw an error so here we will encode a token and uh, return a dictionary like access token i can show you so we have a token endpoint i will try it i will pass username so i have taken same username and password are both the same string so i will pass username and password is also same as username So it returned me an access token. If I will copy this. You can see. So, so this website is decoding the that token. So that is the payload that we passed while encoding a token. now we have other uh, endpoint uh, for get user information so for getting user information so also uh, this is secure endpoint before ex accessing this uh, endpoint so one has to pass the its corresponding like username and password then it it can uh, further access the details 
so as you can see we have to pass username and password so these are the optional fields we don't need to pass them so how i implemented that endpoint i will show you for implementing that so i have created a separate function get user so get user will take a token as a parameter but how it will get that token so same it will call auth to scheme which further call token endpoint and the token endpoint as i we discussed now will return access token if both username and password are valid so if they are not uh, valid then it will return the corresponding response so if the both the username and password are valid then we will have a token and using that token uh, we can uh, we uh, created that token and uh, from that token we can get the user details using uh, for using decoder token for decoding again we require two parameters the token uh, jwt secret and algorithms so jwt secret should be same which we used while encoding so if the token is correct and jwt secret is uh, correct then we will have a corresponding token payload with this payload so that is the information of our user so if all is okay for example if uh, something is wrong with the token so it will throw an exception so here we can uh, return a raise http exception like in a username or password is uh, invalid else we can return the token payload which is containing user information and that we can return in this endpoint i will show you So that is the information of a user. So that is the correct information. That is why it is returning a response which is containing ID, username, and hashed password of a user. So, but if I put some wrong credential, for example, that is the wrong credential. So it will throw an error in a valid credential. So same in this case. For example, if I'm putting some wrong credential, so it will return a, a response as an invalid credential. Any questions so far? okay now that is the case where we are passing uh, only username and password uh, we can custom uh, customize it according to our requirement so so it can be the case where you only need like you want to put only token and uh, after putting that token you want to validate a token so if it is correct or not so in that case you have to customize this form so in this form i am using only username and password but uh, what if i okay i'm creating another separate class Thank 
So here we, we can only pass the token. So it can be a JWT token or any other token. So on the behalf of that token, we can validate it. So if it is valid according to our backend service or not. So if it is not, then we can return the response accordingly. Any question? Am I audible? Yeah. Yes. OK. So according to me, these are the steps. So the author. OAuth 2 is most widely used for uh, authentication and authorization. If you guys have uh, used any other approaches, you can also share. I think that's it all for, for this first tip is security. If any guys have any question or want to share something, then please let me know. OK, I think we are good to go now. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.